The caterpillars that feed on trees are trying to match the hatching of their eggs to the timing of bud burst. The caterpillars want to feed on the juiciest and least chemically protected leaves. And it's not just the caterpillars, of course, that are important. But the knock-on effect is on nesting birds, which are also trying to hatch their chicks at the same time that there's the maximum number of caterpillars. This study marks the first time scientists have linked dike formation to large, damaging earthquakes and Wadier is looking back through history for more examples. She says researchers will never be able to predict exactly when an earthquake might strike after a dike intrusion. But at least now, researchers and rift zone residents know they're not just in for hangs, they may also be in for shutters. Britain, then, was slower to create and develop a police force than the rest of Europe. France had won long before. Indeed, the word police is taken from the French. This fact was not unimportant, as the very idea of a police force was seen as foreign, that is French, and particularly undesirable, and was generally regarded as a form of oppression. A university is not a business. More precisely, 
A not-for-profit college or university is significantly different than a for-profit business. A university has no owners, it is a public trust. Without owners, it has no one to pay dividends to and no one for whom it must maximize its profits. A business has a single overriding goal, the maximization of return for the owners. A university has a multiplicity of goals to foster learning, to create knowledge, and to serve its community. To understand the past, you have to be able, as far as possible, to think as the people in the period you are studying thought. The example of what it must have been like to be a peasant in the Middle Ages is used. However, sensibilities change over time and we can't complete the throw of the mentality of the present. Therefore, every age will have a slightly different perspective on the same period of the past, no matter what the facts are. Trump has threatened to declare China a currency manipulator, but experts say he has little legal or economic basis to take such a step. He has also threatened to impose a tariff of up to 45% on Chinese imports if Beijing doesn't behave a move that could lead to a trade war and damage the economies of both nations.
Each tube-shaped microbot is a sandwich of three materials. A graphene outer layer, which binds to heavy metals. A middle layer of nickel, which gives the bots magnetic polarity so they can be pulled through wastewater with magnets. And platinum inside for propulsion. Just add a bit of peroxide to the wastewater and it will react with the platinum to form water and oxygen bubbles which propel the tubes along. By beginning so early, he knows that he has plenty of time to do thoroughly all the work he can be expected to do. All his work having been finished in good time, he has a long interval of rest in the evening before the timely hour when he goes to bed. After a sound night's rest, he rises early next morning in good health and spirits for the labors of a new day. Parents can communicate their personal feelings about undesirable programs both by discouraging their children from watching them and by writing to their local television station or to the program sponsors. The public does have a voice. Clearly, not all programs need to please everybody. We do have a choice of programs and we also have a choice for ourselves and at least for our younger children of watching or not watching. There is an off button on every set.
The speaker is a marine biologist who became interested in these trendlopers, an ancient people who lived on the coastline because of their connection to the sea. Their way of life intrigued him. As a child, he had spent a lot of time by the sea exploring and collecting things, so he began to study them and discovered some interesting information about their way of life, how they hunted, what tools they used, and so on. Researchers gathered 160 non-caffeinated adults, people who consumed less than 500 milligrams of caffeine a week. These decaf subjects looked at pictures of various objects, then took either a placebo or a pill containing 200 milligrams of caffeine. That's roughly the amount you'd get from two cups of coffee. There are perhaps three ways of looking at furniture. Some people see it as purely functional and useful and don't bother themselves with aesthetics. Others see it as an essential to civilized living and concern themselves with design and how the furniture will look in a room. In other words, function combined with aesthetics. And yet others see furniture as a form of art. As a historian, if you really want to understand the sensibilities of those who lived in the past, 
you must be like a novelist and get into the skins of characters and think and feel as they do. You are asked to imagine what it's like to be a peasant in medieval times asking the sort of questions a peasant might ask. What the writer is saying is that a historian needs imaginative sympathy with ordinary people in the past. A recent trend in the entertainment world is to adapt classic works of literature for either TV or movies. One argument is that this is to everyone's benefit as it introduces people to works they might otherwise never have but is rarely done successfully. A university is a lot more than just classes and exams. University is a concept that offers you a host of possibilities to develop both academically and personally. Find out about the different projects, clubs, and societies that are in your university. You will definitely find something you're interested in. Currently, integration is increasingly needed in the business environment. This need emerges from the efficiency and synergy requirements necessary in a complex and turbulent environment. In other words, integration is needed to facilitate coordination, which is again related to the building of competitive advantage.
This took a step at settling the argument with a meta-analysis, a study of studies on whether people can really perceive better than CD quality sound. He analyzed data from 18 studies, including more than 400 participants and nearly 13,000 listening tests. Overall, listeners picked out the better than CD quality track 52.3% of the time. Statistically significant, if not all that impressive. There are three main interpretations of the English Revolution. The longest lasting interpretation was that the revolution was the almost inevitable outcome of an age-old struggle between Parliament and Crown. The second sees it as a class struggle and a lead-up to the French and other revolutions. Finally, the third interpretation sees the other two as too fixed, not allowing for unpredictability, and that the outcome could have gone either way.